trunk, I open up, I saw my soul a good price out of sight, you might hold God time. Hi guys and welcome to Barn Tech Tips and before we begin hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. So finally after a lot of work I'm back home but now I'm tired I still have to make this video it is about the Hyper 212 from Cooler Master I have to make a video while I'm installing it in the AM3 socket. It looks like it would be easy and I had promised you that I would upload the video. I had uploaded the unboxing video. If you have not checked it, please check the video description. I will install the cooler. They provided me with a jack and I can simply equip that jack in the cooler and then install it in the system on the motherboard. So it looks it would take approximately 5 minutes but then we have to be clear about things. So let's hope it does not take a lot of time. If you want to buy a CPU cooler, you can check the Amazon link in the video description. So let's get straight into it. So to install the Hyper 212 LED, we first need to remove the stock CPU cooler. And to do that, we need to turn the lever upwards, take the first end out and then the other end out from the socket and then wiggle it a little and then take the cooler out. Make sure that you remove the fan jack before you do this. Once you have done this, you need to remove the CPU thermal compound which is already on the CPU. To do that, you can use a clean cloth, use thinner and then clean it up. So we would use this jack and let me quickly check if it is of the correct size. We'll take the cooler out. We will equip this jack in the cooler and then I will equip the cooler on the socket on my motherboard. Finally, after one and a half hour, I've equipped the CPU cooler, this Hyper 212 LED from Cooler Master in the AM3 socket. I actually had to remove the socket, the back plate and everything, remove the motherboard and I've equipped the back plate and the socket provided in the Hyper 212 LED CPU cooler. This was what was provided, I had to simply equip it in the cooler and then uh, attach it with a socket but it did not work i don't know why the system did not boot but now finally after removing the socket and equipping the new one provided with the cooler it is now finally finally working and my suggestion for people who are um, going to buy the hyper 212 led is that you first try and use this because it would take hardly uh, two to five minutes to equip the CPU cooler, check if it is working. If it is, you do not have to do anything. But if it is not, then you might have to remove the back plate, remove the motherboard and the whole socket and then equip the new one. So that is all for today. Take care. Bye-bye.